Hello students, welcome to Tutitut. In our last session, we have understood what is this load factor and what is the demand factor and what is the utilization factor. By drawing the load curve, we understood okay, so which has to be more and how to make this load factor near to 1 and how it is important to us. So, but we need some more explanations about these factors. Why, how this load factor will be for the hydroelectric power plant, thermal power plant and diesel power plant. Okay, so these are the three different kinds of power plants based on the fuel, based on the construction of the power plants and based on different aspects also. So these are the three different kinds of power plants. So we need to compare these three power plants and if you operate with the higher load, higher load factors, then how it has to be, how efficiency will be affected, how the plant will be be working working properly okay so these all things we will be understanding from this session okay so the first thing is about the load factor so here I have given one point in hydroelectric power plant okay so next we will compare with the steam power plant okay so how this has to be the load factor okay how it has to be then it is the diesel power plant okay so see why these three different kinds we need to understand because in hydroelectric power plant so there is no input so in Input cost is almost zero, only maintenance, input maintenance cost only we need to pay, okay. So that means water we are getting at free of cost, nobody, for nobody we are paying anything, okay. So that's why, so input cost is very less. How to operate this power plant means, in a hydroelectric power plant, water available and a fixed staff for maximum output. So that means you are trying for the maximum output. So maximum output means how much is the demand according to that, we are producing that demand. Okay, so electrical demand is there, that electrical demand we are generating. Okay, so that's what maximum output we are generating from the hydroelectric power plant. So the cost per unit generated is is 100% load factor would be half half the cost per unit at 50% of load factor what is this meaning see this meaning is very very important okay so for example if you are operating our power plant switch power plant hydroelectric power plant so with a unit cost of so 1 rupee okay so 1 rupee for example okay so just for example for one unit Okay, so for unit, so you are you are generating like one rupee now. If you operate the same power plant, see same maximum output and same water availability. Okay, so that means staff also fixed. When staff are fixed, means so the number uh, whatever salaries are there and everything will be same only. Okay, so the, that's why they have mentioned the fixed staff also. Okay, so when you operate at fifty percent load factor, so 1 rupee per unit, if you operate at 100% of load factor, how it has to be? It will be 0 0.5 rupees per unit. Are you understanding? If you increase the load factor, if you increase the load factor from 50% to 100%, that means the cost will be half here. That's what they are mentioning, right? That means which is better for us? Two hydroelectric power plants are there. One is operating with similar outputs, okay? Similar power outputs and similar load on that and similar water availability. Just take it like Sri Salam power plant and Nagarjun Sagar power plant. Okay, so similar water availability is there. Similar staff are there. Just a, this is a random condition, okay? So if one is operating at 50% load factor, another one is operating at 100% load factor, then for, from which from which power plant you can get the minimum cost so that means which is operating at 100 percent load factor from that you will be getting more advantage of power generation okay so like that we need to choose according to that okay so see in this so many questions are there so if you increase the load factor from 50 percent or above the cost per unit generation what will happen it will be decreased this is a very very important question okay see directly if you remember this statement nothing will come okay but to remember it is hydroelectric power plant okay so like that we need to understand okay so this is a very 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 important point mostly on the load factor question may come that's why we are also giving so more more analysis from the load factor okay so next thing in a steam power station the difference would not be so pronounced so that means 
डिफरेंस इज नॉट दिस मच इवन दो इफ यू इंक्रीज फ्रॉम 50 परसेंट टू हंड्रेड परसेंट द कास्ट पर यूनिट ओके जनरेशन इट विल नॉट बी दिस मच डिफरेंस लाइक दिस इज लाइक हंड्रेड परसेंट डिक्रीमेंट ओके लाइक फिफ्टी परसेंट डिक्रीमेंट इट इज सो प्रीवियसली इट इज वन रुपी पर यूनिट नाउ इट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव रुपीज पर यूनिट मीन्स यू आर गेटिंग ऑलमोस्ट हाफ इट इज ओके सो बट हियर सी विल नॉट बी गेटिंग दिस मच ओके सो Since the fuel cost constitutes the major item in the operating cost, see which is major in the steam power plants, the operating cost. Okay, so here operating cost is high. That's why. So even though if you increase the load factor also, we should we won't expect this much of rapid change in the unit cost. Okay, so unit cost will not be this much less. Understanding. So that's why if you compare individually, okay, so no need to worry about this team. Okay, if you compare. the therm the thermal power plant and hydroelectric power plant unit cost for which one is which one is lesser value for the hydroelectric power plant because there is no money we are spending operational cost is very less for the hydroelectric power plant okay so that's why unit cost for this is less so for example here how much it is means it would be about Two third of the cost of fifty percent load factor. Okay, so what it means? For example, if you are operating this power plant at fifty percent of load factor, so what is this? Two third, right? Three rupees. Okay, so three rupees per unit, for example. So if you increase the load factor to hundred percent, hundred percent, then it will be two rupees per unit. This is what okay. So if you increase the load factor, only two third will be changed. Okay, that means little advantage we are getting if you operate with hundred percent load factor. So but you see one thing, if you use this for the load, if you increase the load factor to hundred percent, that means this power plant is continuously operating at maximum load. Yes or no? This power plant. Just see the definition of that load factor. Okay. So this power plant is working on continuously at the maximum load. Okay. So maximum load. Maximum load means if anything changes, load changes, other things have to take right. And one more thing you observe. Continuously operating at this hundred percent means continuously it has to generate more power output. More power output means more input also we have to use. What is the input here? Input here is a steam. Steam how we are generating from the coal burning. How this coal we are getting? We need to pay the money to the wherever plants are there. Okay, so wherever mines are there for them we need to pay this one. We are purchasing the coal here. If you increase the load factor to 100%, that means maximum. If you have water, then we can use. There is no problem. So that means water is free only here. Even though if you have the coal also, we cannot use here. Okay, but here for the hydroelectric power plant, we can use at 100% load factor. This. thermal power plant or steam power plant we should not operate at 100% even though we are getting some advantages right if you operate like this you will get 2 rupees per unit but we are spending some money okay so you need to compare so same power plant only for the same loads this will give at 0.5 rupees per unit this will give 2 rupees per unit so for example this is our cost okay like to generate one unit how much money we are spending okay so that's what unit cost okay so but he see here for the consumer what he will give if you are if you are generating at 2 rupees per unit he will give it like 4 rupees per unit here understanding 4 rupees per unit here but here same thing only okay so even though you are running at this one only so if you give at 4 rupees per unit so this don't think like this is a business okay so whenever there is advantage of anything okay like flood season is there rainy season is there we will be operating this kind of power plants more then what we will get at that time the same unit cost only we will be doing or little bit we will de decrease this one and see difference between these two is 3.5 difference between these two is 2 only that means the advantage of advantage or profit we are getting here is more if you operate like this but even though if you operate like this we are not getting that much of advantage that much of profit here that's why the hydroelectric power plant will try to operate at 100% of 
load factor but uh, not the steam power plant okay so this is a very very important thing okay so you need to understand these things then only you will be working properly so in the economic section there you need to observe which load like load scheduling also we need to do right okay so which load like for example so in your control okay so we have two or three power plants okay so one is diesel power plant one is steam power plant another one is hydroelectric power plant so one another anything okay so like these are the three or four are there in your hands at that time suddenly you have you have observed already so every day at this time load will be increasing which power plant you need to operate like all three steam power plants are there what you need to do in that three also you need to select according to the efficiency efficiency is so according to so their number of years of working whether that is a old power plant or new power, new power plant how is the load factor on that previously how the load changes are occurring on that how the machines are working in that okay so so many aspects we need to consider okay so that much deeper analysis is not required for us no so anyhow so this considerations and analysis only required for us okay so next thing is for a diesel station the cost per unit generated at 100% load factor may be about 3/4 of the same cost at 50% of load factor what this means if you increase the load factor from 50% to 100% for the so diesel power plant okay so at that time what will happen we will get only this much okay so that means if at 50 percent four rupees per unit okay so this is the generation cost for us whenever you increase the load factor the cost will be decreases to three rupees per unit okay so unit means electrical unit okay so one kilowatt energy okay so one kilowatt that is the unit understanding so these are the differences you understand one more point okay to generate using hydroelectric power station this much to generate using our thermal power plant this much to generate using the diesel power plant this much okay so these are the three prices you observe one thing okay so for which power plant it is a very less money we are spending so that means for the hydroelectric power plant okay so which state is more good whichever state is having more number of hydroelectric power plants that state electricity board will be more richer okay so you will get more salaries also okay so that's why water availability must be required for any of the state and this is not only for electrical electrical energy generation so for the irrigation purpose why we are constructing the dams because the first purpose is for the irrigation only after that only the second second reason is our power generation these are the basic things required for any of the state and any of the country okay so any country which is having more number of hydroelectric power stations the entire smooth operation of things will be happening in the electrical system okay so don't call it as a entire power system okay so this entire power system so will be includes all this generation okay transmission distribution everything will be working properly okay so remember if genco system or generation generating systems are working properly so then only so our transmission system will be working then distribution system will be giving the energy to each and every household and industries okay so first thing is generation department only okay so you may consider okay so why this unit cost will be fixing for the consumers we are making it as a 4 rupees per unit means not only from the generation department okay so transmission distribution so some of the maintenance departments everything will be there that's why we are charging this amount okay so and the governments also so they don't want to increase this one because they have some uh, some additional advantages if they decrease this price they will get some advantages the governments okay so that's why so they will not increase this generally but whoever increases they will be definitely fired as soon as possible okay so this is like some political things also will be included here okay so you should not be influenced by that kind of things you have to follow certain rules okay so our rules will be there electrical rules will be there whenever you are working so you have to follow that kind of rules okay so never be influenced by the political parties or any of the your subordinates or higher authorities okay so you, you have to take your own decisions okay you need to build that kind of capabilities okay how you can build those means 
you need more clarity about all these things otherwise some other will be giving suggestions to you operate this plant operate this plant later stages you will not be so you have to answer these things to the higher authorities okay so that's why you need to know these things properly okay so this is about the so load factor and even more okay so from this one we can understand some points okay i have told you already hydroelectric power station should be run at its maximum load continuously on all units for example okay so for example in a hydroelectric power plant hydroelectric power plants so for example four units are there okay so four units means four generators okay four generators that means uh, four turbines also we can use okay understanding right so what four generators means uh, definitely four unit each and everything will be having a certain capacity understanding right so that means uh, each and every generator has to operate or only two has to operate or only three has to operate like which is more comfortable this kind of questions also may come okay so any hydroelectric power plant has to operate for maximum number of units see how it is possible to gen to to give the maximum generation all the units has to work all the units has to work means water availability must be there understanding right water availability must be there if you want to operate all the units water must be required okay so this is must required so once water is water is available then what kind of load it has to take it has to take 20 percent of the entire load or 50 percent of the entire load or for example how much is the capacity okay so near to that it has to work so according to the load scheduling it has to work on its continuously constant load anything okay that will be the maximum if only one load it is working like 400 megawatt it is working okay so entire entire day okay so this 400 megawatt only will be there that time it will give the maximum output okay so understanding so the load factor is higher than the cost per unit unit of generation is less okay so that's why water availability must be there okay so you can understand one thing if water is not there we have constructed the dam so then can we operate all these four units we cannot operate okay so whenever peak load is there at that time all four units will operate there is no problem forget about their load okay how much they are how much they are utilizing so you need to schedule according to that okay so if you are electrical you will be studying these concepts in the so economics of economic load dispatch okay so economic load dispatch we will be understanding so there are certain analysis we will be doing okay so anyhow this is the hydroelectric power plant so continuously all the units has to work and they should be on the maximum load okay so next thing is the steam power station should be run in such a way that all its running units are economically loaded see all its running units means are they telling us to operate all the units no no according to the requirement number of units for example four units are there how many required for us according to that only we will turn on okay so all these generators in the power plant how they are connected they are all connected in parallel okay because they need to generate a single voltage of 11 kv so that's why they are all connected in parallel see you might have studied this in the Thevenin's theorem and Norton theorem analysis in our classes. Otherwise, so you might have understood like parallel generator theorem. Otherwise, Milliman's theorem. Okay, so where it will be useful for us. So definitely these questions will be from the, if you are preparing for the Genco kind of examination. So definitely Milliman's theorem question will be there in our examination. Okay, so Genco or Transco kind of examinations. Okay, so transmission or generation departments. Okay, definitely definitely these questions will be there okay and uh, we have to do economically load okay so economical load so whatever suitable load for us according to that we need to do so that means economic load dispatch will be giving how much load this power plant has to take okay so according to that we need to choose that okay so next thing is diesel power station should be worked for fluctuating loads or as a standby units okay that means whenever loads changes 
then automatically this diesel power plant can turn on and it can turn off easily so that's why so this has to work as a standby unit whenever a small changes are there so this power plant has to work okay so combination of these three will give you a perfect generating system okay so perfect perfect generating system i will tell you what is this perfect generating system or perfect generating power stations or entire power system okay so perfect generating power system okay so perfectly working generating system it is okay so what it means if you have one hydroelectric power plant one thermal power plant and one diesel power plant okay so this is the question okay so if we have these three power plants so the hydroelectric power plant will be operating at 100 percent load factor okay on all the units so then second one steam power plant or thermal power plant it will be work with so according to the load requirement it will be shared the load economically so inside there are certain units four units are there may not be operating all the units two or three units according to your required power you need to operate and what is this what is this diesel power plant will be doing diesel power plant or gas power plant will be doing as a standby unit standby unit means so these two are giving the generation and whenever peak loads come otherwise whenever change of loads coming that time you need to operate this gas power station or diesel power station okay so this is the perfect example of entire power system network then there will not be and there will not be any so delay in the generations and smooth operation will be happening okay so that's why we have choose these three power plants for our explanation also okay so this is about the load factor considerations similar to this okay so we need to understand about demand factor and utilization factor what are these things see we know the definitions in our last sessions we have understood already these definitions i have given certain points here which are very very important to us okay so each and every point here so that is a previous previous year bit only okay so i will i will tell you a higher efficient station if worked at low utilization factor may produce a power at high unit cost okay so only one thing here the efficiency of certain power plant is high if you operate at lesser utilization okay, that means very low utilization that means you are not utilizing that plant properly then unit cost will be high understanding see someone is working properly in the entire system for example okay in the entire system if one person is working properly his efficiency is very high if you are not utilizing him properly then whose fault it is so definitely uh, all that work has to be distributed between other generators other generators may have less efficiency then automatically so the losses will be increased and unit cost will be increased okay are you understanding so th this power plant has to be given with the maximum load so three power plants are there now okay so for example plant one plant two and plant three so utilization factor of plant one is very high utilization factor of plant three is very less just for example okay so plant one should be loaded with the maximum demand okay plant one should be should be loaded with maximum demand if you load like this then what will happen unit cost will be decreased understanding so these are all explanations okay so you need to note down some points okay so this only this point is required but you need this explanation you need to you need to understand and note down this point definitely okay so the time of maximum demand occurring in a system also so very very important in an interconnected system okay so a study of all these curves of all stations is necessary to plan most economical operations okay so this anyway okay we have to do do the, do all these things so not only one plant okay so how many if you have 100 plants for the entire 100 plants you need to observe the load load changes okay so how the load are changing on this entire 100 plants okay so that's why continuously data has to collect we need to analyze all this data 
सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट अट वाट टाइम पर्टिकुलरली लोड मे इनक्रीज अट वाट टाइम पर्टिकुलरली लोड मे डिक्रीज दट इन द ईविंग अरउंड फाइव थर्टी ओके सो लोड्स विल बी स्लोली इनक्रीजिंग वै एवरी वन विल बी लाइक हू एवर वर्किंग पीपल सो दे विल गो टू देर होम इन ट्राफिक ओके सो दे वाट एसी दे वाट फैन दे वाट टीवी ओके सो आफ्टर दैट दे विल प्ले विद किड्स सो मेनी थिंग्स विल बी हेपनिंग ओके सो दे विल यूज द एलेक्ट्रिसिटी प्रॉपरली सो दे load will be increased on this generating station okay so like up to the 10 o'clock it will be changed in india whenever indian cricket team match is there definitely so many people will be watching so you can observe okay so crores of people are watching in the devices and even three times of that okay so watching in the televisions okay so that means definitely at that time electricity consumption will be more so we need to be ready for that kind of situations okay if that is a special match definitely more number of people will be watching so why i am giving this example because so we can understand okay so we will be doing that right generally okay so that's why i have given this example so hope you can understand this okay so we all not only you and me okay so even each and every person will be doing that so that's why so during the election time definitely electricity okay so we need to produce a little bit more okay so that's why how we are getting this analysis how i am getting this analysis now because i might have observed okay so electricity consumption might be more so otherwise when you are working in the in as a assistant engineer or executive engineer or any other so you need to observe the load factor how it is changing and according to the load changes which plant we are allocating that extra power generation understanding so you may not take the decision sometimes okay someone else will be taking and you need to observe okay so whenever so because of certain reason load changed load increased so one power plant will be generating that extra power it may be 100 watts 100 megawatts only so that 100 megawatts will be generated from one plant okay so like for example one plant is a 4000 megawatt capacity 4000 megawatt capacity so for this one already 3000 megawatt it is generating it's not that much difficult to generate 100 megawatt extra okay so it may be thermal power plant but still we can increase the load on this power plant a 100 100 megawatt okay so that's why so according to the requirement if any new plant is there okay so the efficiency will be higher and the machines will be working properly so losses will be less all these considerations we need to do okay so anyhow you need to observe all these load curves and demand factor how the demand changes so which time it is changing exactly we need to be known okay so that's why in the advancements of the, all these okay so artificial intelligence will be working okay so soon very soon we will be implementing artificial intelligence on this load curves for the analysis of all these okay so anyhow any even though artificial intelligence will be doing you need to check its data okay this will give the data for you and you need to observe and analyze that okay so it will also do that analysis but you have to be there to do a perfect operation with this artificial intelligence also okay so anyhow so the next thing is the endeavor should be to load the most efficient and cheapest power producing stations to the greatest extent possible such stations are called base load stations okay so carry full load over 24 hours for three shifts of 8 hours see what they have what they have mentioned here so if some station is there okay so some station which is which is producing so the power at the cheapest okay so cheapest that means the unit cost is very less from that power plant that kind of power plants you need to choose as base load power plants understand so you need to choose as a base load power plants which kind of power plants we need to choose which are giving our cheapest power okay so you don't compare like a hydroelectric or thermal or any diesel like that okay in thermal also like four thermal power plants remember one thing in our states now okay so base load power plants are only thermal power plants okay so in entire india also if you take most almost 90% of our base load power plants are thermal power plants and nuclear power plants okay so these are the base load in that power plants also which is giving 
विच इज गिविंग द इलेक्ट्रिकल पवर आउटपुट अट चीपेस्ट ओके सो दट वी हाव टू चूज फस्ट दी अदर थिंग्स ओके सो बिकॉज वी नीड टू मिनिमाइज द कास्ट पर् यूनिट ओके सो एनी हाउ such stations are called base load stations which are carrying a full load over 24 hours okay so this 8 plus 8 plus 8 okay so i told in the so gen whenever you are preparing for ts genco examination okay i told this 8 plus 8 plus 8 okay the same kind of shifts will be there in our working time also in our working in the generating plant also because so no one can take rest okay so like uh, entire power plant should not sleep for even a single minute also okay so each and every time uh, someone need to be there that's why three shifts will be there in the generating station so each and every shift will be for 8 hours i told before okay spend your time okay so 8 hours of classes and 8 hours for the practice and remaining 8 hours you need to spend for yourself okay you sleep or don't sleep but again you have to do remaining two okay so that's what i said okay so this is the similar kind of analysis okay so like um, entire three shifts entire three shifts that mean 24 hours the base load has to work that means power plant will not be stopped okay that that means the units the generating units will not be stopped if any problem only there then only it has to be stopped okay continuously coal has to come continuously the steam has to generate that means boiler has to work continuously chimney has to give the so this smoke to the outside okay that means it's a continuous operation not for one day or two day if you start the generation as a base load power plant any thermal power plant or nuclear power plant we have to run for 3 or 4 days this thermal power plant if it is a nuclear power plant so because of the so radioactive element we are using there it has to run for more than 20 days okay so at least 20 days we have to so continuously run that nuclear power plant but this thermal power plant so according to the load changes okay so there might be change like uh, so one unit we will turn off for some time okay like some days we will turn off so another unit we will turn off for some other days okay so like that we will be scheduling for these power plants also okay so even though the units okay for example four units are there or five units are there so one of the power plant is like 4000 megawatt for example okay so in that so all five units are there for example okay five units 800 megawatt into 5 this is the power plant okay so you may be needed okay so you may be needed so only 2400 megawatt that means only three plants are enough right three units are enough okay? that means remaining two units are taking rest at that time if it is a new plant we should not leave that okay so all the five units has to work according to the load factor okay so this is thermal power plant okay load factor economically we have to choose if it is a hydroelectric power plant so no, no economical nothing okay we need to operate with 100% load factor everything has to work on their maximum demand okay so like that we need to understand okay so two units are taking rest now okay so then other two units we will give rest and remaining three will be statistic generation okay so because during the starting process we will be losing so much of heat that's why to maintain the thermal efficiency so we need to run for at least some days okay so that's how you need to get this okay so and other points also we will try to understand okay so the stations in the medium range of efficiency are operated only during the two shifts of 8 hours see so this is also one of the point okay so if the efficiency is so medium or little bit okay for us okay so then no need to run for the entire day okay so like 24 hours no need to run so you may be running like only two shifts okay so this which plant you want to work so like this kind of plant or this kind of plant so like 8 hours 8 hours working not 8 hours 16 hours working plant or 24 hours working plant see don't there is no difference between these two so if it is working if the generators are working for 24 hours or generators are working for 16 hours whatever plant it is you have to work for 8 hours per day okay so it will not be more than that so you will be working for 8 hours per day okay so during uh, this 16 hours only you will be working okay so anyhow the next thing is the older or less efficient stations are used as peak or standby stations only and are operated rarely for short periods of time okay so old plants okay so what are these old plants 
ओल्ड प्लान लासस् आर् मोर दट वै एफिशियस आर् लेस् ओके अंड दोस आर दाट अड्वांस प्लान रईट ओके यू मैट बी यूसिंग रीहीटर्स इन द अड्वां प्लान ओके सो प्रीवियस्ली वी डोट हव दिस रीहीटिंग टेक्नजी प्रापरली दट वै मोर हीट विल बी वेस्टेड इन दीस् अंड लासस् आलो मोर इन दीस् ओल टाइप आफ प्लां ओके सो दट वै सो वे एवर इट्स रिक्वर्ड ओके सो दे ओनली वी नीड टू गो फर् दिस् कई आफ प्लां ओके सो ओवर ए पीरियड आफ टाइम वी विल बी सो चेजिंग दिस् प्लां टू द न्यू प्लां ओके सो दट सौ वी नीड टू डू सो दट वाट ई टोल यू रईट आलरे डिप्रिशियशन विल बी देर दट डिप्रिशियशन वी नीड टू बैलें ओवर ए नंबर आफ् इयर्स ओके सो एनी हाउ दिस् कई आफ प्लां ओल प्लां विल बी यूज एज ए स्टैंड बै स्टेशन or peak load stations okay for example any maintenance is there in this kind then there is no other possibility then we need to operate this okay so understand one more point continuously this connected load will be increasing right see you will construct you will become a stand engineer you will construct your home and you will be adding some more load you will start some business you will add one industry you will add some connected load so continuously electrical power demand or connected load it will be increasing according to that you need to plan for the new stations also okay so like this we need to understand okay so and one more some more points presently there is a tendency to use you units of larger capacities to reduce the cost and to handle larger loads okay so this means so you, whenever you are constructing a new power plant okay so plan for the larger units okay so larger units so that's why so recently in telangana okay so i'm giving continuously only one example okay so you might have understand okay so what is this 4000 megawatt so where is this 4000 megawatt so this is a newly newly constructed so ytpp okay so this is a ytps okay so ytpp or ytps anything okay so yadadri thermal power plant okay so this is the plant so in total 5 units are there okay so 5 units into 800 this example i am using continuously okay see why we are making this much bigger unit because so you will be getting some advantages okay see 800 megawatts one generator only means it is a higher capacity generator so there is a tendency to use a higher larger units or larger capacities to reduce the space cost and handle larger loads okay so whenever you go for this one so space cost will be reduced handle we and we can handle the larger loads okay so and this is the new plant new plants will be operated as a base load power plants and higher units unit capacity is there that means 400 each and every unit unit means generator okay so each and every generator 800 megawatt is there then they can be operated as a perfectly this base load power plants right that's why larger units you are planning okay so whenever if you take the load curve okay so if you take the load curve so it will be like this so just for example so this base load only important first after that only this peak load so peak load when it will come only for some time at that time you will be operating our thermal our hydroelectric power plants and gas power plants or diesel power plants here so remaining all time which power plants has to work here thermal power plants only have to work okay in our states and in entire india okay so that's why what you need to do whenever you are planning thermal power plant you need to plan for the higher capacity and unit capacity also must be high okay and entire plant capacity must be high understanding so this example only i am giving continuously because we can understand okay so we are constructing new power plant so here only most of the people whoever is listening now okay so most of the people will be working in this power plant okay so that's why i am mentioning this power plant again and again okay so however the maximum economical benefit of larger large sets occur only when these are run continuously at near full load okay and these power plants so this new power plant, plants has to work near to the full load because losses are less so mostly efficiency will be higher okay so that's what they are mentioning as we have discussed that already okay and the space cost okay so this space cost is reducing means which cost is reducing it's a fixed cost or operational cost 
so space cost means so it is taking larger space only but so it is reducing the unit price right that means to generate certain electrical energy it is taking less space only okay that means land price will be that means land cost will be decreased here okay that means fixed cost is decreasing okay so remember one thing whenever you are planning fixed cost you are decreasing means that plant can work for the more years okay so that's what we need to understand okay so anyway in deep analysis is not required for this one okay so next one running of large sets for long periods at lower than maximum continuous rating increase cost of unit generated okay so this is already point we have discussed so if any larger units are there larger sets for long period so lower than maximum continuous rating okay so maximum continuous rating is there for any generator so if you operate at lower than that or otherwise if you don't operate for long periods then what will happen cost of unit generation will be increased that's what okay so you should operate at maximum load and you need to run that for the continuously okay so you need to run that power plant continuously then you will get more advantage of unit generation okay so hope you have understood about all these points okay so these are about the demand factor and utilization factor and similarly so load factor factor okay so these three are major things to analyze for entire power system plants okay so power system plants okay so in generation so we have so many plants like this right okay but these three power plants like hydroelectric and thermal power plant and diesel power plant okay if you analyze these three then we can analyze all the all the things okay like nuclear power plant operation and thermal power plant operation is almost similar okay so and even the characteristics of these two plants also similar only okay so anyhow the next thing we have to understand is factors affecting this power plant design okay so power plant design so which factors are affecting okay so no need to understand this topic actually but you are you have to work in power plant right that's why i just want to give these points to you okay so the following are the factors affecting while designing the power plant so location of power plant availability of water in power plant availability of labor near nearer to power plant land cost of power plant low operating cost low maintenance cost low cost of energy generation low capital cost we know already all these points okay it's like each and everything so in the whenever we are studying about fixed cost operating cost all these things we have understood okay so see one by one point i will explain you again so location of power plant okay so you see so nobody wants to construct the power plant in a city like hyderabad or city like chennai inside the city if you construct what will happen there will not be any space and not only space it will create some of the controversies also there and it will create some pollution so many problems will be coming before that okay so land price is very very high there okay you should not spend more money on this fixed cost whenever you are taking the land means you should not spend more money you have to get the land at very cheaper prices only okay so that's why so the selection of site or location of power plant it should be if it is a thermal power plant it has to be near to the load centers okay for example bigger city is there beside that bigger city some small towns will be there or smaller cities will be there in that smaller cities or near to that smaller cities this power plants will be constructed okay so just outside the city only it will be constructed if it is a thermal power plant or diesel power plant or any nuclear power plant also okay so nuclear power plants generally constructed so near to the sea only okay so because we will understand in the pollution concepts okay so why we need to construct near to the sea okay so see sure the nuclear power plants has to construct okay so next the hydroelectric power plant hydroelectric power plant has to be constructed wherever river flow is there without any river if you want to construct inside the inside the city it is not even possible so anyhow cities will be near the rivers only generally but the reasons for the reasons for the water availability for the city are different and for the power plant are different okay so that's why 
power plants this uh, hydroelectric power plant if you want to construct the dam on a flat surface okay so no water will store there okay water will be choosing uh, other paths and uh, new rivers will be forming okay so that's why where we have to construct uh, wherever two hills are there and between those two hills okay so if you get any doubt so just search in the youtube okay so you will get a sri salem power plant top view okay so you just search this one you will understand between the two hills river will be flowing and you will be understanding okay how the dam is constructed there that is the best example we can understand if you want to study about any hydroelectric power plant study about the sri salem power plant okay that is a more comfortable thing to understand about entire power system network okay so next Next thing is availability of water in power plant okay so which power plants needed this water so first thing is water will be used as the fuel otherwise so the as hydro energy is used in the hydroelectric power plants there is no problem we need water for that but for the thermal power plants also we need this water okay so why for the thermal power plants we need this water because in the thermal power plants we are taking the water and that water we are converting as the steam that's why water availability must be there coal also must be there okay but water availability must be there so whenever a thermal power plant has to work means the last stage of any thermal power plant is water allocation from the nearest river okay so that is the last stage okay so before that entire power plant will be constructed after that at the last minute okay so the water allocation will be there okay that is the main consideration for entire thermal power plant that's why after considering all these things after checking each and everything economically it is possible or not all these things okay so water allocation will be given to that power plant then only generation will be started okay and next thing is availability of labor nearer to the power plant this is important okay so but so some of the places okay so just think about so some countries okay so where availability of labor is less so even though you have money even though you have the technology to construct one power plant even though you have generators with you so if labor or operating persons are not available for you we can't generate the power okay so we need to understand this one this will be a serious problem for example any strike is happening so the whatever working people whoever working in the power plant if they are doing some strike means it will be a huge loss okay so remember it will be a huge loss for the entire generating plant and not only for that for the entire generation operating company like genco so telangana genco or it may be ap genco or it may be ts or tn genco okay so anything okay so it will be like a so very much very much smooth operation we want but if any strike is happening if the labor are not working especially in the thermal power plants then it will be a huge loss for the entire state okay so that's how you need to understand that okay so land cost of power plant okay so what is this land cost so land cost means so you know land value will be there right on here to that okay so that we have understood already so with this point only we have understood this land cost so that land cost is higher otherwise it will be changing means continuously so then it will be a problem for us okay so whenever power plant starts there okay so there will be nearby cities also will be forming okay so slowly but in india so this is this is a reverse in other other countries whenever a power plant is started so near to that there will be some uh, some areas some villages will be forming newly okay but here in our uh, telugu states especially otherwise uh, so in entire south india whenever some pow power plant is there we will be opposing first so we don't encourage actually so because of certain reasons are there okay so if you have if you know about the benefits of this power plants then we will be accepting that okay so even though it's a nuclear power plant also so there may be some accidents will be happening for nuclear power plants but whenever one nuclear power plant is happening you may think okay how it will be benefit for us see it's a huge project okay so just think about a huge project which is giving a thousands of jobs for the many of the employees here okay so many will be working here not only that okay 
So especially a power plant like 4000 megawatt capacity, it will be adding a huge economy to the entire state and entire country also. Okay. So because of the taxes there. Okay. So it will be adding so much of money to the economy because of that economy. Okay. So the, our countries, our whichever country you are in. Okay. So our country will be grown like anything okay so because of this uh, very big projects okay so not only power projects okay so anything like irrigation project or anything okay so big projects are starting means so like these are very very so important for our economy of the so entire country or entire state okay so that's why we need to accept if anything is good is coming we need to accept that much bigger plants okay so next thing is operating cost must be low okay so that's we already know this one okay so low maintenance cost maintenance and repairs cost must be low okay and low cost of energy generation okay so for low cost of energy generation only we are studying this entire economics of power generation okay so next low capital cost we know already everything we want this cost low only we need okay so for everything we want low only then only our unit price will be lesser okay so that's how we need to understand okay so this is about entire economics of power generation okay so anyhow so if you have any doubts about these things you can ask me and you can talk to me okay all the best thank you so much